three, two, one. Just over two years ago, SHPD officers and their families were invited to the DIA to put a personal touch on a mural that would eventually be displayed in front of the police station. <laughs> They created tiles representing the men and women of the SHPD and the community they serve that would be displayed beneath a mural created by Nicole McDonald as part of the DIA community projects. Her design includes the themes of unity, fraternity, diversity, and remembrance. Two years later, the families met once again to install their tiles beneath the covered mural. Yeah, obviously we did, you know, this mural, this awesome project by the DIA to do public art, and we had this really, really cool police mural that's gonna fill the front of our brand new police department. We couldn't be any more proud of what the mural represents, but part of that mural was hand creating these tiles. We had multiple family members from our police department and our officers come out with their kids, and we all designed tiles, uh, made the tiles, painted the tiles, and really it's that, that custom little touch uh, added to this mural that that really is going to bring this thing still to life. And it was great to see all the families out here, the officers' children out here putting these tiles up. I hung up my tile on the wall. Me too. Yeah. I'm happy because so people could see it and they think they would like it. I really like mine and I hope other people like mine too. And I really like how they thought of this and it's really cool. While the families focused on completing their project, they were unaware of the work that had been done to prepare for their final touches just over a week earlier. brings us back to June 1st, 2021. After two years in the work of many hands, this mural highlighting the beauty and strength of our community and the incredible police officers that serve it is finally open to the public. Today is this unveiling of this mural that honors our police department, but what it really does is it honors the way that they serve our community. So. For me, that's what's so important about this, this piece of art. It's also, as I said, another installation in our, in our public art program. And what I find really exciting about public art and exciting about art in general is that you can look at these tiles, which by the way were created by families and police officers and their families. You can look at these tiles and you can see a tile and I might interpret it one way and you might interpret it a completely different way. And isn't that sort of the point of art? is that you can see the same work and have two totally different interpretations of it. Part of what makes this project special is that the police community, including officers and their families, created the clay tiles at the DIA that are installed at the base of the mural. A big thank you to the police community for trying something a bit different, and a special thanks to Vito Valdez for facilitating the tile creation. Thank you to artist Nicole McDonald who incorporated feedback from multiple partners to create this wonderful painting we can all be proud of. So the whole process has really been about two years. We initially came up with an idea for the outside and it was just a matter of determining what the piece would represent and working with Vito Valdez at the DIA, he wanted to incorporate the community and clay. Clay is very elemental material. It was really fitting. We were able to incorporate a lot of personal expression and personal stories into the individual pieces and I think it's a great compliment. It's often hard to do a large scale work of art and have stylistic continuity so I think this is a really good harmony.